God damn. Now that, that is a sound of nostalgia. G'day mates, and welcome to Rim Station 13. That's right, it's for me. It's, it's Rimmy's station. And in fact, my name is also just actually Rim, so thank you, Modmaker. I don't know why, but there it is. Nice. There's also this fun button here. This bouquet's funny. Captain is a comdom. ERP free zone, that is provably false. There's, uh, hang on, where is, where is Ikioki? Alright, Ikioki, I just stopped it right on, there we go. So this is a mod for RimWorld that turns RimWorld into Space Station 13, and it's one of the best mods I've seen in a while. Now you see, the thing is, I recorded this video already, well, most of it at least. I had a really good time, in fact. And then I wrapped up and I decided, you know what, it's time to go to bed. And I pressed the off button on my computer without turning off the recording in OBS, therefore corrupting the whole thing. Thankfully, we managed to save the footage, so we'll go through that now, and I'll give you a little bit of a story of my first time in Rim Station 13. Before we do, though, I want to just say that this mod makes me incredibly nostalgic. It's weird that this, more than any other game, triggers all that nostalgia boner in the back of my head, just going, oh, well, this is fun. I want to go play Space Station 13 now. I want to remember the good times. Before the orange. CLOWN! THEY'RE BEHIND YOU! That's a lovely clip, but how did we get there? You see, we start off with one simple fact. Captain Ian was to be our storyteller for this journey. We're in space in Space Station 13, sorry, Rim Station 13, let's stay on brand, shall we? Which should come as no surprise. What will come as a surprise, however, is the fact that there is still a day-night cycle and stargazing. And, you know, the fact that we're on a single Z level. But then again, don't question it, it's RimWorld. The fact that he's been able to do this much is still insane. The station we're making is Cargonia. Our faction is PEC, Private Engineering Company, a favorite of many a rogue station. In Rim Station 13, all of your supplies are actually Space Station 13 supplies. Steel, wood, all that stuff does not exist. Oh no. Now we're using steel plates, glass panes. Floor tiles are a main ingredient in the station because we can't actually build anything in deep space. Well, on deep space, I guess. I installed the machines I had, and I begun setting up a power grid. That meant solar panels on the outside, generators on the inside, and cables in between, with an SMES to store all that power. Now these batteries, they're huge, but they take a very, very long time to charge. The next point of order, of course, was building the rooms for my station. A nice place for all 12 of my many space stationers to go have a nice nap and potentially ERP with some cat girls. After that, I sent my starship troopers mining. And of course, they found bugs. Lots of them. But you see, the thing is, those bugs, they simply died in the cold of space. That's right, the cold of space. If you weren't already wondering what the hell was going on and why we could seemingly walk around in space, and why we weren't, you know, running out of air. Then let me explain how this mod simulates atmospherics. Essentially, everywhere on this planet, because yes, we are on a planet in space that is also space, I don't understand either, is incredibly, incredibly cold. So the main point of the station is, of course, to build a station and heat it up. When we heat our station, we therefore have a livable environment that our space stationers can stay in and live and actually survive. To that end, the atmospheric units included in the mod, that is to say the siphon, the scrubber, and the vents, for example, actually just affect the heat in the station. But, and this is a big but, it contains a little message in the tooltip. Until atmospherics are added. I have no idea how much of a pipe dream that is, but if this man truly adds atmospherics to RimWorld, then I believe we have found Megamind, the pinnacle of human evolution. Meanwhile, inside of the station, we had engineering set up. We refined ores into sheets, we turned those sheets into things, and then we built machines. To actually build the machines, however, we needed a circuit board. We also made a mule, a cleaner bot, and a body for a cyborg, but we still needed a brain for that thing. Also, one of the cleaner bots got eaten by Space Carp. Oh yeah, Space Carp. They're a real issue. What was also a real issue was acid, and in fact, any chemical. See, this mod includes chem dispensers, so we can infinitely produce any sort of chemical we want. It also only takes a fraction of a second to produce a chemical. And, you see, there's a weird thing with RimWorld. When something isn't put in a stockpile, your station doesn't count as having it. So when I told the Grey Tires to produce some acid for me, they begun producing acid, and didn't stop. 
Because none were put in the stockpile, the 20 acid I asked for turned into about 2,000. This would continue to be an issue throughout the entire game. It was at that point that I decided I needed a bigger stockpile. I had too many things and not enough room. So I started to expand north, digging through an asteroid and building a giant storage area. In the process, I'd like to tell you about Abram and Gracie. Abram's your normal everyday space stationer, and he fell in love with sweet little Gracie, I think by telling her about his forehead, if I recall rightly. The reason I mention that, of course, is because in the construction of our mega storage facility, Gracie was crushed to death by falling rocks. Abram, to this day, is a depressed husk of a man. I personally don't give a damn. For once, I finally had enough storage room for my facility. Now we could really get into producing everything we didn't actually need. That brings us to today. So I'm going to hand you over to me from last night. Hi. Welcome back. You know that video that I was making? Yeah, well, you already know what happened. Um, so... To kick things off, we're going to go from top to bottom and just run through everything that's actually in the station. To start with, we have the dumping zone, which is just deep space. We just throw the rocks outside, I guess. We have the entrance. It's a nice little area. We've got some uh, safety cones warning you of the fact that this is the entrance. Uh, clearly not safe enough, though. Uh, we have a stand clear sign warning you to stay away because I'm apparently dyslexic. And, uh, some laser turrets to keep those space carp away from our doors. We'll get to those later. Uh, over here we have the storage area because holy hell storage in this game is rather intense. I'll, uh, explain why at some point. But we've got the Mule Meister over here who's just ready. Oh, he's, he's eight days old. Isn't he great? Good old Mule Meister. He's ready to uh, keep things up. The first clean bot did get eaten by a space carp, so we've built a new one. We might have another one soon, but uh, here's where we store all our goods. Running down, we have the station itself. We've got the cold room for our food, which obviously includes mostly raw cutlets of bacon. Uh, and then we have the entrance, which, more safety cones. A ladder leading to... Rimworld doesn't have Z-levels. From whence does that come? And a welcome mat for all the people coming to our station. Over here we have the kitchen, which is, uh, f like serving some really nice cuisine, you know? Most of it, space carp. We don't tell the people that, and instead we just give them the stuff from over here, the hydroponics. So, uh, we've got, you know, the microwaves to cook things, we've got the, uh, grinders, the processors, the culinary grinders, the chemical grinder, which is in here, because I couldn't fit it in the med bay, long story, and then a couple of kitchen tables. So carrying on, we have the lovely little cantina, where we can get some nice food from our steel tables, which I adore, because it just reminds me of Colonial Marines. You're just eating bacon. Okay, Mark. We've got a slot machine and an arcade machine for people to play, and we run over here. We have a thing for, you know, grey titers to just detonate when they walk past. A few more scrubbers to keep this place warm, and a little entertainment corner, because people weren't entertained enough, apparently. My entertainment includes a laundry machine. Don't ask me questions. We've got the med bay fully stocked with two medical beds, a chem dispenser, which is the most terrifying thing this game has to offer. Over here is robotics and engineering combined into one. We've got the uh, exosuit fabs, the mech assembly, the robotics work table, the auto lathe, the circuit and printer, and the ore redemption machine. Those are the main things. We've got the proto lathe as well, and the bio generator, which I haven't actually looked at. I can synthesize milk. We have the batteries and the power generators and the, the gigantic solar array to run this facility. Uh, weird thing is, the solar rays turn off at night, because that's apparently a thing in space. I didn't get it either. Coming down here, we have the lovely rooms with a couple different beds and floor tiles, the clown's room down here. The clown is apparently Cochrane, there you go. And, uh, over here we have hydroponics. A lovely place, couple APCs in the walls, bunch of hydroponics, we're growing some Omega weed here. We're also growing a banana tree, some meat wheat, and then mostly just space wheat. I'm actually going to cut some of the plants and see if we can't plant some new stuff. It'll be quite nice. Over here we have Bimmy's Bed, which is the funniest thing this game has to offer because it randomly generated me the name Bimmy, along with a communications console. Now the thing that scares me is over here we have the Space Carp Holding Facility. You may notice that it doesn't have a door, because it originally did. And then the Space Carp got out. We don't want to go in there anymore. <laughs> in fact, I'm actually attempting to build an altar to pray to the Space Carp. I would like it to spare my life, and that of my men. If you haven't noticed, this game adds a lot of choice. The one thing I hadn't touched on at all was Xenobiology, which I believe I should start playing with. So in this game we have to build our floor tiles first, and holy hell that is first. Then we can actually set about building the space station itself on those floor tiles, because of course we can't build on space. What are you, a magician? Or a goddamn wizard? In case you don't know, that boink noise is scary to most Space Station 13 players, because it's the noise that the game makes when an admin messages you, and usually the only time they message you is when you've fucked up, or more correctly, 
have done something hilarious and they're angry at you for doing it. God, I hate authority. I say, running an armor three unit in my spare time. What am I saying my spare time? It's literally my full time. <gasps> yes, they've got slime cores. I require those. Wait, I've just realized that steel sheets, despite being incredibly cheap to make, sell for the same price as like everything else. Excuse me while I sell almost all of my steel. Now give me your money. This is basically mugging someone. Here, have so much steel that your ship will literally explode when I teleport it over. Now be happy. Oh, god damn it, not again. Well, that was bloody lethal. Pretty sure that's a war crime, to be honest. What? Um, I've just noticed something. The carp is actively trying to escape. The humans are actively attempting to seal the carp back inside. Oh god, oh god, no, oh shit, oh fuck. Oh dear god, it's escaping! This carp is actually just being a dick now, I'm just gonna shoot it to death. Well, that was that. Um... So much for that carp, eh? Diem. That was a terrible joke. Alright, the space carp was a failure. But this grey slime? Oh no, it won't be. So apparently the grey slime is wildlife? Oh, and it, it's a predator. Oh. They're feeding it me- oh, I'm afraid. How in God's name did you collar a slime? Ah, uh, yes. The people deliveries. See, I want to make- Oh my god, no. <laughs> you see, I want to make a cyborg? I want to make a cyborg, okay? Uh, and that requires a brain, so I'm gonna have to kill someone and take their brain in order to make a cyborg. So do you know the first name I glanced at when I was thinking, man, I want to make a cyborg? Steven's Computer. Not only is he already a computer, his name is Steven. And we're turning Steven into a cyborg. Remind you of any- Oh, Jesus. <laughs> what does it mean by he was a computer? Oh, he was a human computer. Oh, well, congratulations. Now you'll be a real silicon computer boy. You're gonna have to get back in bed, mate. Oh, you've got an artery blockage. Ooh, <laughs> where we're going, you won't need arteries. First of all, blood extraction. But we're just gonna go straight in there. We're just gonna harvest his brain. Yeah, I forgot we had Sven on the station. He's a slave. Poor Sven. Mm. Uh, and there's the brain. A human or clown brain. Best not to ask questions. We can now work with mech assembly area. <gasps> brain in. Bits. What? What? Okay, shut up, Abram. No one cares that your lover Gracie died. Oh, is he like turning on? He's also apparently freezing. I don't understand. Help. Uh. <gasps> what? Why is his name now Schaefer? Why is he incapable of everything? Wow, he just loves his life. Still a jealous- Still somehow jealous. Also a night owl. I see, because it's a basic model. Can I upgrade you somehow? I'll be honest, I have no idea how to upgrade him. What can he even do? Oh, I like how he can't do most things, but he can do virology and genetics. Of course. Wow, we, uh, we literally killed Stephen Hawking for nothing there, didn't we? What the hell is wrong with me? Well, uh, I mean, at least he can't die outside, I think. Nice. Oh no. I accidentally made another slime. We need to stop doing this. Now, if you've not played Space Station 13, you probably don't recognize whatever the hell that is. It's a monkey cube. It fucking glomped you. It glomped you. You got glomped. I hate this game. Baby monkey! Look at that! Oh, it's adorable! We got a baby monkey. We can make a few more as well. Let's get some monkeys in this station, shall we? Tobias approached baby monkey one while whispering to himself about bowler hats. Tobias, I'm going to turn you into a cyborg. The thing that makes me truly sad about this game, and I don't think it yet has the ability to make a clown mask. And that makes me sad. Piano Man, you need to go. You need to go, Piano Man. No, Piano Man, you need to leave. You need to leave, not to read. Oh, they just ate the Piano Man. I'm calling this Operation Hot Slime Girl, for obvious reasons. Just deconstruct it. Now run. Run as fast as you can. There's only one scrubber left to build. You can get it, clown. No! Oh, God. 
God save the clown. The clown is going down with the ship. Lock the blast doors. Seal the blast doors. Finish it while Mulemeister and Schaefer buy you time. Clown, they're behind you. Yes, hero clown. They told me it wasn't possible. They said I was mad. They said to reason with them to cut down on slime production, but no. It is they who is mad. Yes. Now. Now I turn up the heat. Yes. Yes. Witness the clown in all of its glory. It's time to bake. Now you burn. Yes. Suffer pain. The warmth is overtaking you. It is a good pain. I'm kind of afraid this thing is just going to catch on fire and everything will explode. Yeah! <laughs> yes! Ah, I've roasted all of the slimes. Yes! Well, the clown is dead. Ilya's gone insane. The slimes are roasting alive in probably the most <laughs> horrific way to go out in a long time, but I, I like this. It's, it's good, you know? It's... What the hell is happening up there? Oh. I'm- I'm being beaten to death. Il Ilya beat me to death with a double barrel shotgun. That's me. That's Bimmy. Bimmy died. I'll happily play more of this when an update lands. This is... amazingly nostalgic, and I adore this game. I'll touch on that in the start at some point. Stop destroying our crop. I'm gonna go.